Imagine a world in 2030 where access to a better quality of life is available for everyone. A real sense of community is within reach. You can propose new ideas, for example, building a new park, have people vote for your idea, give feedback, and ultimately see your idea being implemented. The relationship with government representatives has transformed. Citizens are heard and rewarded for the engagement. Governments have achieved the goal of making and keeping their citizens happy. This is what a future ready government looks like. Sadly, the situation, the reality today is that many national governments are broken. Simply look at what has happened in the past years. Brexit, the Trump administration, Venezuela's dictatorship resulting in violation of human rights and hyperinflation, the ongoing crisis in Belarus, and the list goes on and on. I would like to look closer at one country, Lebanon, where there is no clear government at the moment. After three crises, first a national government crisis, second COVID, third and finally the port explosion, I feel a very strong and personal call to help Lebanon. You see, I'm French, I'm based in Luxembourg, I have uh, Lebanese and German blood. As a kid, I spent every single summer in Lebanon. I love this country. My father is Lebanese and I have lots of family still there. From what my cousins and my close relatives told me, people in Lebanon have lost hope. Since 2010, I've been working closely with national governments and EU institutions and I see a huge potential for, tr for transformation. I'm specialized in exponential technologies and I've been applying a business transformation framework to companies for the past two years. I now want to apply this framework to governments, to national governments, starting with Lebanon. My North Star is to transform governments, making them future ready. Transforming governments like you would transform a business? One way of doing this is through the Exponential Organizations Framework, or EXO, in which organizations perform 10 times better than their peers. Well-known EXOs are, for example, Google, Tesla, Airbnb, and many, many more. A government is somehow like a company. A company has customers that they want to make and keep happy. A government has citizens that they want to make and keep happy. If suddenly all the company's customers decide to stop using the product or service, the company dies. The same way, if a government loses all its citizens at once because for some reason they decide to migrate to a more convenient country, there are no more taxes, thus no more need of governance. How does a government become future ready? First, the government must want to transform and to take risks. When Estonia decided to leapfrog and become today the most advanced digital society, the decision ca came from the top. And there was no guarantee of success, but they did it and today they are a role model for other nations. Second, the government must define a North Star that will serve as guiding principle when key decisions need to be made. Google's North Star is to organize the world's information. TED's North Star is ideas worth spreading. Lebanon's North Star could be the most welcoming country on Earth. Third, the government must implement specific features to become more citizen-centered and more resilient to external changes. We'll now look at, at these uh, features. So what is a future-ready government? The first and maybe more, most important feature of a future-ready government is the community. The same way you have super hosts with Airbnb, which is an exponential organization, you will have super citizens with, within future-ready governments. 
Now this is a call to all Lebanese people all over the world and lovers of Leban Lebanese culture and cuisine. Let's make together Lebanon shine again. Let's learn from the past, design the future in the future, say where we want to be in 10 years from now, and start today the actions that will make this happen. To build communities, people must be able to connect. So we first need to build a digital infrastructure that can support the use of smartphones for voting, payments, etc. According to the Global Community Connectivity Index, Lebanon's smartphone penetration and mobile broadband access have improved. Internet and computer usage ha uh, reached new highs in 2019. However, Lebanon is still behind in advanced technology. Less than 10% of mobile users in Lebanon have access to f use 4G, and moreover, 3D coverage is still poor in many areas. Given that the infra infrastructure is already in place, fo the focus should be on installing more sites and expanding the coverage to all Lebanese territories. An idea to build community is for governments to engage with their citizens via local or national uh, challenges, for example, by using a gamification platform. The rewards could be in the form of a token that could be used locally, for example, at your favorite restaurant or at the movies, thus nurturing the local economy. I also suggest to build a new digital stable currency for Lebanon. Digital infrastructure. Estonia is the most advanced digital society in the world with mobile services for almost everything. What could Lebanon and all of us learn from Estonia? They declared internet access as a human right. Can you imagine how society would thrive if every single person on earth had universal access to internet? Now let's look at uh, the so-called fonctionnaire, lifetime jobs. Think of Kaggle, it's a platform for data scientists on demand. Shifting to staff on demand would completely transform the DNA of governments, highly in increasing their productivity. No more lifetime jobs. Governments must, must shift to a platform-like model, such as Kaggle, and manage the offer and the demand for its services. Algorithms. An algorithm is a process or a set of rules to be followed by a computer with the purpose of solving a problem. Imagine all the data governments already have at hand, but used in a way that we could have insights about the citizens, businesses, feedback on government services, in order to constantly improve them. We are talking big data, artificial intelligence, and many more other exponential technologies. But very importantly, governments must ensure total transparency and ethics to build and keep the trust with their citizens. Leverage assets. Think Airbnb. They are the largest hospitality company in the world without owning a single room. The old model was to own everything. In the new model, a government keeps the cost down, it can rent space when needed, or simply put some of its assets for rent. Dashboards. The same way a CEO can manage their company by a smartphone, a head of state can do the same with a country. She or he would have a real-time view of the country's metrics and even be able to do some prediction, predictions in the future. Smart cities already use dashboards extensively. Experimentation. Before launching a new policy or designing pub new public services, the government should experiment by involving the citizens and collecting data and feedback before to decide do we stop it or do we do we make it mainstream? Some governments, governments like the UK or Finland already do this. Even at the EU level, the European Parliament with uh, the Future of Science and Technology panel or the European Innovation Co Council, the EIC, are constantly experimenting and involving feedback from citizens, from the main uh, customer. Let's now look at the autonomy of the employees. Future-ready governments have a flat organization allowing self-organizing multidisciplinary teams or individual employees to operate with 
decentralized authority. Think blockchain. Think Zappos, Zappos in Las Vegas, which is considered to be best in class for the autonomy of its employees. To transform, governments would need to transform the system, and this opens new opportunities for new generations to disrupt the old model. Social tools. Future-ready governments use collaborative tools to manage real-time conversations internally, but also with their citizens. You can use Workplace, Slack, there are plenty of tools to do that. When in place, those tools create transparency and foster community. Now we've gone through the 10 key ingredients to, to make a future-ready government. The North Star, the digital infrastructure, a community, staff on demand, algorithms, leverage assets, dashboards, experimentation, autonomy, social tools. With which attribute, which feature would you start among those 10? Here is an exercise for you. I'd like to invite you to reflect on your current government, where you live, and pause for a second. Do you think that your government is future ready? If not, how could you help make it future ready? Thank <laughs> you.